Howdy, Mojave D here. I am doing well. I hope you are doing well. I wanted to play, and looky here. They got an update on Red Dead Redemption 2. What's that all about? What is that all about? They better not be monkeying with this game. <laughs> I hope it's an improvement. But I, it says here, updating. I got to wait 19 minutes. I don't want to wait 19 minutes. You know? <laughs> now, it is almost 9 o'clock at night here in real life, and... Um, after a day of doing some, you know, minor, yeah, very minor physical activity, of, you know, uh, I should be getting ready to go to bed like uh, most uh, retired old people. But y'all have taken me out of retirement, man. You brought me out of retirement. And, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> I gotta wait. I gotta wait. Um, well, be careful of something that's just what you want it to be, you know? Are you really sure you really want what you see? Be careful of something that's just what you want it to be. Some of you will know what that is from. Not many, I imagine. I won't do your homework for you. You're gonna have to look it up. So I am guess we're just gonna smoke them if you got them for about 19 well, 17 minutes and 13 seconds. What is this update all about? Anybody know? Hmm, nah, nah, hmm, nah. Update on a game that is five, six years old? That is cool. As long as they don't muck things up. So let's hope the big mucky mucks in charge aren't doing something to muck things up. 21 minutes and 16 seconds, it says. 20, it says, let me get my big head out of here. It says 21 minutes, 29 seconds. Well, they're stealing all my fire, man. They're stealing all my fire. Network, 696 MBs, uh, 1.52 GBs. Well, now. Well, I'll tell you what. Smoke them if you got them. I'll be back at you in 20 minutes, I guess. Well, let us see what the big mucky mucks did. I hope they didn't muck things up, you know. I, <laughs> I've had bad experiences with updates. Now, I've never experienced one with uh, this game. So, fingers crossed. And uh, I don't know what, uh, 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 man, I don't know. We'll find out. Be careful of something that's just what you want it to be. Let's get gone. this game so I could just look at this I mean and just uh, I don't know man I you know you got the fire you got the embers going up they got the smoke blowing by got the bushes moving in the breeze these guys these guys they made a they do great work, so I, I feel good about the update, whatever it was. I'm sure it's going to be an improvement. They didn't nerf anything or cause anything weird to happen like animals floating in the sky. We'll find out. But just that picture right there got me feeling very optimistic. You know, we are in Mojave D stomping grounds. We are in the desert, and that is always good. Arthur should have come here, you know. The climate is better for people with respiratory problems, you know. The dry uh, heat, you know, no humidity, none of that. Not a whole lot of insect action going on. 
you know, flying bugs and stuff. And, you know, if you guy have asthma or anything like that, you're better off out here in the West. Hey! Howdy, John. How you doing, part? Look at you, man. Look at where you are, son. <laughs> Saguaro cacti and all kinds of good stuff. Hey, Buell. You looking good. You looking good. All right. <laughs> I got to see where I am because I do not know. Uh, I am at Lake Don Julio. And I would like to go west, young man. We are going to go west. So I'm just going to set a, a mark over yonder. And let us get Can you do that, Buell? Can you can you make that? Jeez Louise. Buell is a tank. Alright, let's see. Everything working fine. Updates. You know, I've had bad experiences with updates and other other games, other games, you know. Not this one. I've never had one with this one. Herb. It just says herb. Wow. That's a pop that was that was a poppy, wasn't it? I know what the auto save, you know, get off my back. Yeah, prairie poppies. Oh hey. You need to come out to the Mojave Desert. If you can. Dead eye it said, hey. Um Because we've had a lot of rain. A lot of rain this uh this winter. Hey, here. Matter of fact, it, it's been raining over here. It was raining over here the last three days. Not today, though. That's why I did some chores today. Um, outside. Um, and whenever that happens, when there's a whole bunch of... Look at this. Wait a second now. Uh, uh, um, I have caught this lizard in real life. I have caught that lizard. Give me my 22 so we get integrity on this bad boy. This this game in pooping horses is um, is um, uh, kind of crazy, you know. Horses pee a lot more than they poop. I can tell you that. But this game seems to like them pooping. Um, uh, I, no, I'm doing the wrong thing. Uh, I want weapons. I want a 22. I want a vermin rifle. We're going to kill some vermins, some varmints. Now that is either a chuckawalla, a collared lizard, or a gila monster. I can't tell. If that's an iguana, it's a giant one. That is. That, my friends, is what is all I have caught hundreds of these this is called a crescent lizard a desert iguana we shall skin it and shooting them is not the thing to do desert iguana uh, or crescent lizard I have caught so many of these in real life I never like skinned one or anything why would you do such a thing to such a beautiful critter I don't know but we just did. Um, yeah, I, I, I would never shoot one. Um, the biggest one I ever caught was, um, oh, I can't remember. It was over 21 inches. And, like, when you're a kid, you know, and you're catching these things, you know, you, you compete with your buddies and stuff, you know, like, uh, who gets the biggest one, who's got the, the prettiest one, and all that. Uh, because they, they will shed their tails. It's a defense mechanism, you know, against predators. Like, they'll just they'll just drop their tail. And so, like, if there's a, a, an owl or a hawk or, uh, you know, something else, a uh, coyote uh, coming after them, and they can't get away, they can't get down a hole real quick, they will, uh, they'll just drop their tail. 
and have the predator go after their tail. And the tail grows back, it doesn't hurt them none, you know, nothing like that. It, it doesn't hurt them at all. Uh, and they can grow the tail right back. Um, but it grows back without any color on it. You see how colorful that tail is with all the stripes on it and everything? So if it, if it drops its tail, when it grows back, it'll be all gray. It, it won't have those stripes in it. So you'll catch one sometimes that had dropped its tail, you know, like six months ago or whatever, and it's, it's, it's fully grown back, but it won't, it'll be gray. It won't be all striped and colorful. And so like when, we, when, when we're comparing, you know, you know, buddies, you know, comparing lizards and stuff, uh, you might have, you might both have one that's like 16 inches long, but, uh, you know, his dropped his tail and grew back a gray one, and yours has got the original tail, so you win. <laughs> oh, mint, cool. We need this. This is for, uh, if I combine this with, uh, with big game meat, this is good for your um, dead eye uh, core. Right? Am I learning? Am I getting? Am I learning? Am I learning, boys and girls? Am I getting it right? All right. I want to. I want to. I want to pop one of these just because I don't know what they are. Looks like a raven. Let's get. Let's find out. There's more. Oh, even with dead eye, I miss. And without dead eye, I hit. I am depleting my dead eye on frickin' birds. What do we got here, a raven? Yep. Tell you a story about ravens, man. They are so smart. See, a raven, a real life raven would never put itself in that position. You would never get a chance to shoot at it like that. They're too smart. Ravens are one of the smartest birds in the bird kingdom. Not only that, but they they might be, oh, look at these holes. Um, they might even be one of the smartest birds, period. One of the smartest animals, period. Flight feathers. Now you see this right here? Looky here. Two of them like that. So we've got either rabbits. We could have snake. That could be a, a snake. A big snake will make a, a hole like that. That could be rabbit. Snake. It could be chipmunk. But usually a rabbit... Or a, or a chipmunk won't do it out in the open like this. They'll do it in a bush. They'll do it. They'll do it up next to a bush, like over here. Well, none of these, but these bushes over here. Good morning. Yep. Good morning. I, I'm sorry, sir. I was I was talking. Um, you know they'll do it in the bushes. They'll do it by a bush. They won't do it out in the open like that. So I'm gonna guess. Well, not many animals at all will do a hole like this. I don't know. That's kind of unrealistic. They just they, they won't dig a hole just like that out in the open like that, because they're gonna pop out of that hole, and they're exposed. Or if they need to run into the hole to escape from something, the thing can see right where the hole is, you know, and it doesn't come over here and dig it up. I have dug up many many holes. <laughs> there, boy. All right get back on target here. Um, oh, there's some smoke over yonder. Let's, let's check out the smoke. I am just loving being here, though. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come on, fella. You're okay. Well, I was here the other day. Uh, this is where there was a, uh, a professional lady working three fellas here and I robbed them uh, they were asleep they were drunk and fell asleep 
I'll tell you a Raven story here in a minute. Um, let's see what this, if these guys are still drunk and I say, oh, we've got Mustangs over there probably, huh? Wild horses, man. Oh. Well, we don't want to do it with the 22, son. We can do the Lancaster. And we probably need to go with a uh, pump. Hi. Good morning, sir. Good morning again. Yeah. Bye. guys you don't know it, but I was here yesterday and you all were drunk and passed out and I looted your house yeah I did that was me now I'm back in the you know uh, we'll take another look Did you guys restock your house for me 32 cents did you restock anything for well, a billfold? You did. Twenty dollars. Another billfold. Twenty more dollars. Anybody else? Well, yeah, there's another one. Or is that just a deck of cards? No, that's another twenty dollars. Thank you, boys. Um, considering your current condition, you will not be needing this money, so I'm just gonna take it. And you ain't gonna be needing none of this either. Boy, you boys went to the store and restocked since yesterday, because I done took all this yesterday. I done cleaned you out. And you boys just were so kind to go shopping for me. I do appreciate it. Mind if I do? Clothes drawer. Well, I guess I already hit it. Got a banjo. John, you know how to play banjo, boy? You want to learn? What well, they got a satchel over here? Why? Now, see, I should be able to loot the satchel, shouldn't I? What's the backyard look like? Boy's got a big backyard. They got another they got neighbors too. Oh, we got some more smoke over yonder. I mean I could just spend all day just going to campfire to campfire, huh? It's a well. It looks like a well out there in the middle of nowhere. What is that, fisherman? We can, we'll leave him be. I, I saw a well out here, just like sitting out here. Or was that a rock formation? I thought I saw a well. Right, right there. Oh, it's a wagon. And that down there is a town. Well, let's go say hi to the neighbors. Hey, boy. You'll be okay, buddy. Yeah, yeah. Good old horse, man. Buell is getting better and better and better. I was worried about him in the beginning, but you know, 
he has come around just fine. Uh, we got pronghorns over yonder. Um, oh, I put my beanox away. Um, no, I said binoculars, John. You got the same problem Arthur has. He just, you know, I tell you to pick up something and you've grabbed the wrong thing. Um, a pronghorn. I gotta study these. I've already. Oh, a Sonoran. Okay. There was a three. There was a three star in there. Where is he? Let's take the three star. And um, let's do that with the um, bolt. But we got to get around to where we can get a, a vital hit on him. And um, I just don't think we have that shot. So what we need to do is toggle the uh, scope. Time we got it. Put the scope away. It is a three star indeed. And I do not know what we can get for this, Don't but we're about boy. to find out sooner or later. I mean, if. Well, that's a church. I don't know what that'll do for us, but um, we'll find out if I don't get Ready killed boy. and lose it before I get to a trapper. We need to find a trapper down here. You'll be all right, mister. What's he, uh... See, oh, boy, let's see, you got all this uh, paddle cactus. Um, that's like a natural defense, I think. I think I was here already, and uh, didn't amount to much. Uh, we want to head over this way. I want to open up to west. So, well, my my trail kind of takes me that way. More more fire. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Where's my mark? So we're headed that way. This is going to take me back up around. They want me to use the road. And I probably have to because of all the canyons. Probably can't just ride straight to my ex, huh? Let's try. I think that big fire is from that town with cholera and they're burning bodies. I think that's what that is. We've done been there. I want to go where I haven't been. Jackrabbit. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably why they wanted me to stay on the road. How do you miss Sir! You actually choosing to look like that? You're very judgmental. So, how are you? <laughs> Just playing with you, mister. Yeah, I wonder what's changed here. I know we uh, we helped out the sheriff, and the sheriff uh, jumped ship. He took off. I think we'll just we'll just leave him be. Oh, we got another pronghorn. Um, what's your rating, fella? I didn't drop it clean. It's dying slow. We need, we need to help it out. Rest. 
thing with pronghorns is even the female, even the females have um, horns. I'll just take the meat. I don't need the hide. Compendium updated. We're like, what was the difference between that pronghorn and the other pronghorn? So we're in the Sonoran Desert, huh? Not the Mojave Desert. <laughs> well, we shouldn't be too far from the Mojave Desert. Uh oh. Train robbery. Guess what? Boys and girls. We are going to intervene. We're just going to have us a little bit of fun here. Oh, let's go. Scope away. Switch to the uh, shoddy. Fine day for robbing a train, boys. Sorry to ruin it for you. Who we got? Del Lobos. Got a sandstorm? Oh, great. Is this gonna hurt him? Is this, this, this gonna hurt him? I don't want to. Oh, I killed a stranger. Dying. Sorry, Bubba. The horse. I mean, we need to get out of this. We do. Oh, I killed another stranger. I don't know if I killed him or the Lobos killed him. Probably me. Oh, they killed everybody. Oh, Lord. Probably already... Yeah, they, they already robbed them, too. And they just killed them. Dirty dogs. So they, they probably already got the um, the cargo, everything out of the cargo car as well. Yeah, they hit everything, man. So how come I don't get to loot the stuff off of them? If they already got all this stuff, why didn't they have it on them? take anything out of you. So they 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 cleaned up the, the train out. I kill them but I can't get the stuff that they got off of them. Look at that. Nice light. Attention to details, huh? Well I can't see that there's anything mucked up from the update, everything actually looks better, if anything. But 
drive the train. good to me. Can't go too fast because I can't see. Would this be a dream come true though? be able to do this. Check that out on the I'll check that out on the way back. Seeing all these black X's follow me, and I just realized it's the uh, dead, dead passengers. That could be the name of a rock band, you know, a punk, punk rock band, the Dead Passengers. There you go, guys out there. You got a band and you don't have a name for it yet? Call yourselves the Dead Passengers. It's gonna switch me to where? It's not gonna switch me. Okay. Looks like we got maybe some bad guys up ahead. No. come to? Benedict Pass. See, I want to go, I really don't want to do this. I really, there's Mercer Station back that way. Uh, I really don't want, I mean, Benedict Point. I would really like to do this on foot. I guess we can always come back. We can ride back. I mean, not on foot, but on horse. Look at you all. for you, Buell.
John. You done good, son. Trains here, boys. Want a ride? Hey. Hello. I'll take anywhere you want to go for like, um, I don't know, five bucks. Where you want to go? Search the drawer. It's just gonna get me in trouble. I'll take cigarettes. Nobody man in the station? Hey, mister. Hey there. Hello. I'll take you anywhere you want to go for five bucks. Acting like you done hit your head. Are you playing silly games over here, mister? Don't hate me for being different. So what's going on here? Easy. Howdy, friend. Quite a country. It is quite a country. People are real hospitable around here. They just let you take their stuff. And they don't they don't shoot at you or anything. Very nice of them. Some uh, fishing gear. Crackers. Crackers in a tackle box. Another coin. Oh, we're gonna get rain now after the sandstorm. We sure are. See these cactus right here? I got a story about this too. <laughs> you want to hear it? Tell you what. Let's take a break. Smoke them if you got them. And uh, I might tell the story when I come back. We'll see you in a few minutes. All right. The Raven story real quick. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, they're smart. They're smart. Uh, they, you, if you have a rifle, uh, Raven won't come anywhere near you. You would never get a chance to shoot a Raven like that. You know, I mean, unless you, you, you know you got just lucky or you were stalking them or something, baiting them. And why would you? Why would you want to do that? But uh, they're real smart. Is what I'm saying. And, and, and if you got a rifle, they ain't gonna see you now. My brother and I, when we were young bucks, you know, used to do five mile runs and. Um, and my brother, uh, uh, great stamina, great distance. He would have been a great distance runner. He just didn't go into it. But um, <laughs> when we're old, now we're older now. We're in our forties, or at least I was in my forties, probably. He's ten years younger than me. So we're, we walk it. We had a five mile course that we'd walk out in the desert, just like this, out by Powerline Road. It was called Powerline Road because see all those power lines that we passed on the train, <laughs> power lines. Uh, just like that, right? And um, <laughs> so, uh, but we're out there, oh, way out, you know, away from town and walking Power Line Road, and there's all these ravens. Had to be over a hundred of them, a hundred easy, easily a hundred up on the wires. And it was kind of like a scene out of The Birds. Did you ever see the movie The Birds? And it was kind of spooky because the sun was going down. It was, uh, it was, uh, 
dusk, you know, and um, just about sunset. And uh, so it's getting kind of dark, and and we're and he's like, man, this is like this is eerie. This is just like out of the birds, the movie. And um, you know, man, what if these all all these things decided to, to attack us, right? And uh, and it was kind of spooky. And I said, watch this, watch this. And and they weren't bothered by us because we you know we didn't have any weapons or anything. We were just walking, and just a couple of guys walking, and they're up on the wires. They're safe, and they're just looking at us. And I go. Chick, chick. Right, just make the sound of a gun. Right, like a like a pump shotgun. <laughs> All hundred of them take off. The, the sound it was loud. It was loud, and and you know when you have that many birds take off, all it was was they took off and they were gone. But that's how smart they are. I mean, they know the sound. They, you know, they, they couldn't see us. They couldn't see any in our hands, but, you know, they, we didn't have any, any weapons, any guns or anything. And uh, sure enough, they, they know the sound. They're smart. Now, about this cactus. Another quick story. Right, yeah. So, one summer, I worked at the Grand Canyon. Uh, summer, you know, during, during college, during the summer break. So I spent summer at the Grand Canyon. Great place. Great place to pay, play, blah, 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 to spend the summer if you're a kid. You know, well, you know, you, you know, 19 years old, 20 years old, college. And uh, summer job at Grand Canyon, just absolutely fabulous. You know, just fabulous, especially for somebody like me. Now, they have a trail that goes all the way down to the river from up there at, uh, oh gosh, what's it called, uh, North? The North Ridge, I think it's called. Um, North Ridge? The North Ridge. And, and they've got a bunch of gift shops there and whatnot, you know, tourist place. And, um, but you can you can either ride donkeys. They have donkeys. You can pay. And you can mount up on a donkey. And they'll ride you down there. Or, or they might have been uh, burrows. I'm not sure. Burrows or donkeys. Uh, that you could ride down the trail. You know, winds all the way down the canyon. About, um, oh gosh, I can't remember how far it is. Um, I can't remember. At least a mile and a half, maybe. I'm, I'm, for somebody, I got three miles in my head, but um, I think that's round trip. But you can go all the way down to the Colorado River down there. And, um, and you know, you can do that. I decided, because I was a, you know, a track guy and a football player, and, um, I wanted to stay in shape over summer, and I was like, well, you know, I, I can run that. I'm going to run it. So I run the trail down. Now, it's steep. It is steep, and it is just um, world-class. You've seen pictures of the Grand Canyon. I mean, just world-class uh, scenery and views and just awesome. And there's people walking down the trail. You know, you got hikers. There's hikers and stuff like that. And uh, But I'm running. I'm going to run it. I figured, well, this is, I think it was probably a mile and a half down and a mile and a half back. So I'm thinking three miles, I can do a three-mile run, no problem. Problem is, I didn't have any water or anything with me, right? I'm just running it. So I run down to the river, you know, and um, no problem because it's downhill. <laughs> and it's pretty steep. Coming back up was a whole nother ball game. It was a whole nother story, man. I couldn't run it all the way up. I had to stop and walk in places and, you know, but I, I ran as much as I could until I was, you know, my, my thighs were, you know, burning and, 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 you know, and it was just, you know, I was running out of gas, you know, and I had to stop and walk, run, walk, run, walk. And then my, I got cotton mouth really bad, man, because I didn't bring any water. I didn't think, I said, what's well, just three miles? I'm gonna run down, run back and get and drink. And I didn't bring any with me when I came across cactus like this this exact cactus and I took out my pocket knife because I always carried a pocket knife I still do and I cut off one of these bulbs these uh, purple bulbs because I had watched cowboy movies and I knew that there was water in there there is juice in there and I was desperate for some liquid refreshment so I cut off one of these bulbs and I cut it open with the knife, so I get on the inside, and it's like fruit, you know. It's like a, like a, a, a fruity look on the inside, you know, like some kind of fruit. And I sucked on it, and I got what I wanted. I got 
hydrated. You know, I cut off another one. And I suck on it, and I'm refreshed. I'm refreshed, and I'm feeling great. And I run back all the way to the top. Well, not all the way. I had still running and walking, but I was aware of pain <laughs> on my tongue. And um, I was like, what's going on? Something's going on with my mouth. Well, it turns out, now I avoided all the little uh, cactus spikes on the outside. And you see the bulbs? They don't really have any on them on the outside. And I was, you know, I cut them open and I was sucking the juice out from the inside. And you don't see any prickly stuff, right? Well, they got them. <laughs> they are micro hair thin. I mean, you would you could you would almost need a um, a magnifying glass to see them. But they're on the inside of the fruit, the fruity part. They're inside. And like I say, they're like, they're, they're, they're micro hair thin. And you can't even, you can barely see them with the naked eye. Well, I got them in my tongue. I had them on my lips. <laughs> my girlfriend took her like three hours with a tweezer. She had to pull them out. <laughs> she's, she's pulling them out with tweezers. And it hurt because they're barbed. Okay? Those, those, those cactus spikes or thorns, whatever they're called, it's, they're barbed. You know, they have a barb on them, like a hook, like a hook, a fish hook, you know, just, but it's all micro thin. They're, they're not thick and big or anything. And, and she was even having a hard time seeing them. She had to pull them out with the tweezers, man. My mouth and my lips were swelled up. I looked like Daffy Duck for about three days. <laughs> so that's the, uh, yeah. That's those two stories. Okay, I was going to ride because I think I can do better um, on the horse than I can with the train. We could take the train all the way on down, though, huh? I mean, it's my train now, isn't it? But I kind of want to go this way. So we're going to take the hoss. And look at Buell. Huh? What? A specimen. There we, there we go with the poop again. Now, you know, leaving horse apples on the track. The thing is... Let's go, boy. My thing about that is they don't poop as much as this game thinks they do. I mean, not, I mean they do, of course, but what they do more is pee. Now, let's head up on yonder. Let's, let's see what happens up here. And, um... Pee in gallons. <laughs> All you uh, country boys and girls, you know. Horse peas in gallons. All right, um, what do we have? Okay, we're good. We're good. Uh, we're good. We're good. We are ready for any kind of ambushers. Got some houses up yonder. Um, looking off this way, aren't I? Look at this, though. See, this is uh, this kind of country is where I spent a lot of my life. Wozers. Spine probably won't get us integrity. Wild pig, but this will add to the compendium. They're calling this a wild, wild pig boy. and not a boar, or what do they call the other ones down in the other part? Um, what, 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 what were they calling them? Boars? Same thing. Feral pig. I don't know. Packery. Oh, I did not expect that. All right. That's why that's going to be added to the uh, compendium. There's another name for uh, collared peccaries. Um, oh, what are they? Um, ah, I can't think of a name right now. Um, more commonly known name. 
and that looked like a, sh a big horn. And we got the edge of the galaxy up there. Half moon. Woo! Now hold on. I've already reached my mark. Holy crap. Well, let's go up, uh, let's go up this way. Look at that, there's a, there's a gunfire. Where do you suppose it came from? Milky Way. All right, I'm at the scope and see if it came from here. I think it probably came from ahead of us. So there was some, like a, a campfire over here. I saw some light and more, more colored peccaries. Stranger, help me. I'm coming. Where are you? you to drive Mr. I, I can't even you have saved my life I can't thank you enough whatever is in that box is yours I, I'll explain the loss far as I'm concerned you earned it oh thank you I was waiting for you to say that <laughs> oh he knows how to pick locks Got a repeater. That's it. Cartridges. Wait a second. That's it. That's it. It won't, it won't let me take them. Beans. What, what am I full up on uh, on bullets? That's it. I didn't get like a thousand dollars or anything you can't carry more of this item oh well, we could drive this we could drive this now don't know if I want to don't think I want to loot him it'll hurt thing it that'll hurt the, the old uh, what you call it yeah we don't need to do that how about we open this up I can't open the door And I don't feel like um, taking him anywhere. I don't want to loot this, the, the, the driver, man. But I do want to loot you, Bubba. Mr. Big Mouth. Hey, Mr. Big Mouth. What you got? A dollar? No. <laughs> 91 cents. He's got a Pump air, uh, what else you else got? Got any herbs? So that uh, wagon is still, um, we got here some bluebells? What do we got? Desert sage. Crafting the bitters, a horse stimulant, refill your stamina core. Okay. are not ponies are those horses what we got those are not horses they are horses Morgan ouch I just 
walked into a cactus and hurt myself. So apparently I can take this coach. But I can't get in it. So when I walk into these um, saguaros, saguaro and um, cactus, does it hurt me? Do I want to ride? Do I want to drive this anywhere? I'm gonna stay on foot. I'm gonna stay on a horse. And we are gonna need something for our um, our cores here. Miracle tonic. Uh, I want something for the core. Corned beef. Baked beans. Ooh, venison. There we go. Little, little deer meat. Uh, did I already hit my mark? I already hit my mark. So we can either keep going west this way. Well, let's come on up here. Check this out. Coyote would never let you get that close to Whoa, 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 we've got a gazebo. Tumbleweed, 51 degrees. Whoa, 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 we got lit up. We got lit up. Why'd we get lit up? Sun coming up. Are you friendly? Are you friendlies? Not where are we? What's the town? What? Hey, little fella. Y'all all right? Sir? So y'all okay? You have a fine time. You take care. Nice, nice place you got. Man, you did good. Yeah. Like the gazebo. like a normal town or is this like a, a town where everybody's shooting everybody DOD Other, huh? Hold the X, use L to move while performing this move. Drift. Son, I have enough trouble going straight. <laughs> Ain't gonna be no drift. I'm not gonna do any drifting. I do have a gunsmith. Sometimes this star wait. Yeah, but everything's closed. Fellers? Morning, sir. Hey there, partner. There we go again with the poops. But it never, you know, just leaving horse apples everywhere. But it never does, um, pee. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We got a saloon. 
Can we spend the night? Can I hitch my horse? I can't hitch my horse. You bad a boy. Partner? Fine morning, partner. Uh, we got a parking space opening up. Y'all have a trapper or a fence anywhere? All right, y'all. Hey, good morning to you. Howdy, mister. Wow, I'm in total shock. Always nice to see a new Good morning. Place. Good morning, friendly morning people. Good morning, sir. I'm in shock. We can play blackjack upstairs. But I think what we're going to do... What's your pleasure? I'm going to eat. Oh, you got Don't roast beef? If this is what you want... What happened? Why did you do that? Easy there. I didn't want to Let's do that. Let's just go easy, all right. Well, what the hell? What did, why did he do sorry, that? I'm partner. I don't want no part of any trouble here. Well, I didn't do... I just ordered food. Did I hit a wrong button? I gotta... I gotta watch a video. Did I hit a wrong button? Oh, punched his buttons out. Partner. Hello. Um. Fine country around here. I, did you see that? I just ordered food and that guy just jumped on me. Did you see it? Are you my witness? Can you tell the bartender to come back here and give me some food? Aim weapon. Well, I mean, can I come back and just make my own food? Apparently not. Well, shucks. I don't know what just happened. Maybe if I leave and come back, he'll 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 calm down and come back. Hello have, there. Howdy. Do we have any bounties we can do? Oh, what do we got here? General store. Um, not really interested in that or that or that. I have a stable here. All right, let's just kind of maybe if I burn some time. A mining company. I probably can't get in. Morning. All right, son. Got a badge on. Hi there. Come on in. All the essentials, tobacco, cigarettes, and the like are all along the tall shelf. Food is scattered through the shop, as you can see by the shelves and by the window. Everything else can be found in my catalog on the counter. So I hear some bounty hunters caught up with Nathan Kirk and Strawberry. On discount, it's on sale. Okay. What's cow puncher look like? Ooh. That's that's all right. I kind of like the cow puncher. I like the cow puncher. I do. This outfit is suitable for hot temp temperatures. I like it. I like the cow puncher. 
Uh, the Drifter. Nah. Um, hats. Got a Panama hat. Got a Bulldogger. A Stalker. I own this. I own the stalker. I just don't own it in black. You know, I like it. I like it. And we're gonna do that. Um, what else we got? Nah. A duster. We have a duster for eleven bucks. What's it look like? A tail coat. Hmm, nah. What else we got? A frock. Kind of cool. Um, I won't go back and buy what, 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 what was the one I liked? Oh, I didn't look at the tumbleweed. No. Um, I forget which one it was. The Leatherman? No. The Drifter? No. Um, what, what, what is the one I like? The Leatherman? No, there was one I liked. Which one was it? The Cow Puncher? It was the Cow Puncher. It was the Cow Puncher. Well, that comes complete with a hat. have on what what vest do we have on now, okay well I'm always look. here I want to change to that hat I bought how do I change to the hat I bought Did I buy? I forgot the stalker. I bought this. That's always flying off the shelves. Equip. Let's look at the boots. Riding boots. Customer with expensive taste. Well, I own them already. We'll equip them. No. So we already own that. <laughs> Interesting. You know, you can't buy those everywhere. Yeah, I was because. <laughs> <laughs> they suck. Um, all right. I think I'm happy. All right, just don't be afraid to come back soon. What kind of pants does he have on? My shop's always here. How do we look? How do we look? I don't like the chaps particularly, but that's okay. Roof. Uh, let's go and see if. Uh, Good to see you again, sir. The butcher. Oh. 
Line up, folks. Got some fresh meats in. Gotcha. Something slip your mind? Uh, yeah. If I can, if I can sell you stuff. Ah, uh, here, take some frog legs. I see a fair amount of that lately. Um, I can't use this for crafting. You can have that. I suppose so. I suppose. Uh, iguana pelt. Seems like every other fella tries to sell me one of these. <laughs> Is that right? Well, apparently, I can sell you this stuff. Doing business with you. A boar tusk. Well, it doesn't say I, I can use it for crafting or anything. Um, I, but you know what? I'm wondering if the uh, if a trapper could, could could do something with it. Do we do we get not get trappers in this part of the world? Um, Okay, um, butcher. Bye. Well, I can get all this myself, sir. Um, thank you. Hello. Hey, mister. Uh, let's go try the saloon again. All right. Thank you. See if the bartender is back and calm. I swear I did not cause a fight. I should have known you'd Hello. turn up like a bad penny. Hey. Are you the fella that... Hey, partner. Jump me? How do you do? I want roast bait. Nice. This is yours. I want, I want a room and a bath. Good morning. Good morning. Morning. Um, you, you don't have rooms or nothing? Just food. Um, no beds. No beds anywhere in town. All right. Let's boogie on. Good morning, Mr. Good morning. Morning there, partner. I can't talk to you because the horse is in the way. Are you the fella to jump me? Me again. You best not be coming back to start no shit. <laughs> well, you know what? You just did, didn't you? You just had to, didn't you? Nice seeing you again. Watch where you're walking. But I'll be honest, you're still ugly. What's your problem? How's it going? Looks like you just Lord, ain't helped that man. All right. Come on in! I know, right? Oh my goodness. Oh, you're God. done! Oh, Stop it! Oh. Nothing seems to stop me these days. I got them both of one bunch. Come on, come on, sucker. What else you got? No, 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 no. You don't have to fight all of them. Show me oh, no. no weapons out in my saloon. Ain't no concern of yours. Oops, have you looked in the mirror lately? Well, can I get my hat back? No harm done. I hope you're a butcher. Well, you're I'm trying to get out of this trough. I just want my hat, y'all. I just paid $13. One more time, boy. Making friends and influencing people. Let's see, where am I, 
Where is my mark going? Take me. Uh, over yonder? I guess we can continue on up, huh? We got a lot of west to open up, man. Gunfire. Have we been over there? We have not. I thought I'd give okay, it a try. Partner. got himself a telescope. Can I use the telescope? No. What's he looking at? Huh. Hey, buddy. He's kind of me in the area, doesn't he? Practice. You there? Would you be interested in some friendly competition? I've come all the way north from Mexico to challenge a real American gunslinger. Sure. You him? 
sometimes. I'm no gunslinger, all right. But I do like a challenge. What are you thinking then? Okay, man. That's what I like to hear. Dead I hear? Hey, man, you shoot too soon. Bet's off now. I have my eye out for you. Uh, well, I didn't know you were gonna say one, two, three, go. <laughs> okay. You ain't much, you know that? If you and me, I must have been hurt. Check out the end of the road down here. See why that road uh, it just ends right there. road past the end of the road. Guess we'll just ride around on keep on going around. Woo! Mule! I <laughs> love you, mule. You are all right, boy. You've turned out just fine. Good fella. Gunshots. And my dead eye. What the heck? You know. Save that as a thing. Get the core going. Cigar and a smoke. somewhere wow I have to 
Let's keep going. We are opening up a pretty big map here. Well, I don't know what that update was about. But it didn't do any harm. Uh, maybe they... Um, if anything, the picture looks a lot clearer to me. I don't know how it's going to look on the video. But I can tell you, the, the picture looks a lot more crisp and clear to me. I don't know if that's what it was all about. I don't know if they added uh, new stuff. I don't know. But they didn't muck anything up from my point of view. The big mucky bucks didn't muck anything up as far as I can tell. right there. I need a 22 if we're going to find out. It's a 3, but I won't be able to pick it up. <laughs> it's another iguana. It's not going to let me pick it up. Yeah, that's exactly what they look like. It's good. And we get their legs. Um, I never finished my iguana story. So we have fish. And we have a camp up there. Is that a new camp? I'm enjoying this. I don't know if y'all are. I mean, I'm enjoying the heck out of it. I know we're not getting a whole lot of action going on, but that's okay. With me, I'm... Whoa, this horse! Absolutely. You and me, fella. Absolutely amazing horse. You and me, boy. Absolutely amazing animal. Mule, you are a champion. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Easy, boy. Oh, easy. I'm thinking that's a hawk. I hit it. I hit the thing. I do, but you're telling me I hit the rock next to it? Do some fishing, but not right now. Let's just keep exploring. What a boy you are! Yeah, we'll do some fishing and check out all those critters, but not right now, not today. So sorry. I was not looking. I should have had you jump that. I forgot to tell you to jump. Um, 
forgive me, boy. That's why you're my horse. <laughs> That's why you're my horse. Because I crash a lot. I think we did pretty good with this. Um, I mean, I don't know. Oh, wow. Can we do all of this? Can we do all the way back to roads? Thieves Landing. What I want to do, I think, is fast travel back to Tumbleweed and head on. Well, well that's just about all of that. That's just about all of it. We done did almost all of it. Um, so we'll just keep on riding. We've got most of it opened up. I mean, it looks like. Blow it. Um, let's see how far can this. Well, we still got some. Whoa, I am wrong about that. We can go way down yonder. Yeah, okay, so we'll uh, we'll camp and fast travel to Tumbleweed, maybe, huh? Looks like they put us up on the ridge. Legendary animal territory. Okie dokie. You know what we're going to be doing. Yeah, let's have some coffee. But there is too much activity in the area. You have entered... Legendary animal territory, but there's too much activity in the area. So I gotta do something about that, I guess. I don't know, man. Okay, what kind? Of, what can we do? Mint. We can do. That's for health. Oregano. Time. That's the one we won't cook. Get that dead eye. Man, that depletes really quick on me. Probably because I don't know what I'm doing with it. I'll cook another one and stow it for the future. Cook another one and chow down on it. sleep until nighttime. Let's see what this place looks like at night. Well, actually, we're going to fast travel on over to uh, Tumbleweed. Uh, yeah, we can, yeah, we'll just sleep for seven hours till nighttime. Take a look at the place at night. And we'll take a break. So smoke them if you got them. I'll see you in seven hours. Okay, let's see if uh, I went outside. It's a little chilly. Um, that legendary animal is still uh, unavailable because of activity. Is that smoke still over there? Was that smoke over there causing the activity problem? <laughs> It took me, it 
took me away from the river. I'm thinking the legendary animal would be a um, something in the river, a fish. Yeah, put me up on the ridge. Is this the too much activity? There's a wagon. Horses dropping dead. Right in front of me. gun to shoot that thing with. Get on up. Oh, you gotta put the gun away. Get on up. Struck by lightning? Or a meteor? anything on him because he got he, oh my gosh lightning or a meteor Start lightning strike and fire Condor. I have a barment rifle. That's my boy. Been down here, right? What are we looking at? I don't remember being there. That, um, what is that? I'm looking over this way now. 
Fort Mercer. Riley's charge. I'll get back to my camp here, here now, don't worry. Huh? Friendly place. I mean, it's not red. Benedict Point. Post office. It's not red. Are you gonna shoot me off? Some supply wagons outside the, the wall. Hey, you. The Lobos are here now. The Lobos. The Lobo. They have a fort? Apparently they need. Hey. The have a fort. Hey. Nice horse. Um Huh. The Del Lobos have a fort. What do you know? Leave you now. Let's get back to camp, tear it down. Just curious about this up here. So, the Del Lobos are bad guys. Easy now. <laughs> so it's not like a Calvary Fort, it's a bad guy fort. Interesting. That's just a fella, he doesn't need to be bugged right now, I don't think. Um Huh. figure things out with these Del Lobos. I mean, they're not good guys. I can kill them with impunity. I mean... I don't get, uh... wanted for killing them. And yet they have a fort. To rest dying. Go tear down the camp. And I'm thinking. Sir!
Potato. Two crows. Friend or foe, two crows. No one can stop us, eh? What here for, um... That's Armadillo. Two crows is this way. Donkey lady. What was the poor thing? Who would do such a thing to any creature? I already told the story about this kind of cactus, didn't I? I had a story about that one too, but I think I already told it. No secret treasures. tear down my camp, did I? I think my camp done disappeared automatically. It's no longer on the map. Okay, that's a good thing. I don't have to go back and tear it down. And what was this town? This was Am Coach Chapel. We've been there. That's Armadillo. Tumbleweed, Benedict. So we're, we're getting, we're making some progress on it.
I'm wanted? I have a $20 bounty? What'd I do? What'd I do? Benedict Point. I'm just thinking about what I want to do. I mean, we still have a... Bunch more down here. I think, um, take a look at that on the next one, next video. Um, all right, boy. All right, my boy. I saw a white dot appear over here. trouble where are they riding off to they're riding up this way got an armadillo Secret treasures over here. Oh, I've been here. I'm thinking. I'm gonna let the west, the west rest of this exploration. Wait till the next episode. Because there's some things I want to do right now. Cornwall, kerosene and tar, emerald ranch, lark. Manzanita trading post, pronghorn ranch, roads, Sandinese, strawberry, tumbleweed. I can go to tumbleweed, man. Or drink wapiti. Head for Valentine. How you doing, friend? All right. Out of my way! Puny little girl. Hey, partner. Thank you. Hello. Hey, partner. Uh, howdy. There's the people. Hi, fellas. I had to wake up the NPCs. They weren't expecting me to come here. Hey. Hello. All the NPCs were te on break. Oh, they were like, and then the game's like, oh my gosh, he's, someone else. he's going to Valentine. Ain't nobody got a heart. All the NPCs need to clock in. I'm real hungry here. Howdy. You got a problem? Nope. <laughs> yeah, all the NPCs were on break. They were asleep.
They're, wo they're awake now, see? But the town was deserted, man. He had all the... The game had all the NPCs in Valentine. On break. And then I decided to come on over here, and they were like, Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Quick, 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 wake up the NPCs. Hey, wake them all up, get them out there. You guys clock in, go to work. Buell needs a bath. Hey there. Hello, sir. Partner? Partner? Hello there, pleased to see you. Okay there. Mary Beth. Mary Beth. John? Mm. John, is it you? How the hell are oh, you? I'm very well. How are you? Good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Abigail, is she? She's well. Jack's growing up. Oh, sweet boy. Not anymore. <laughs> but he's okay. How Mary are you? Beth. I'm well. I... Uh, right now, My silly gosh. romances, but it's fun. Oh, it's such fun. Do you? My pen name is Leslie Dupont. It's sort of French, sort of ambiguous. Well, the books are unambiguously awful, but they sell. Good for you. I'm so proud. I still think about you all. That was... That was quite a time. Yeah. Arthur, Arthur saved my life before he passed. I don't talk about him much, but I think about him. Me too. Mary Beth. And Dutch? <laughs> Goodness. Ran off someplace. All aboard. Such a shame. Is she gonna Last leave? Well, anyway, John, I better get on my train. Aww. It was really lovely seeing you. Oh, here, it's for you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Take care now. Bye. Oh, Mary Beth, where's she going? Oh, man. Yeah. from the comment section. You guys told me to do this. I said go over to the train station in Valentine. There's some other things you told me to do too. Thank you for telling me to do this. Thank you so much. Oh, Mary Beth. Ah. Oh, you need a bath. Thank you, comment section. All y'all told me uh, Show him, boy. to check this out. Look at all the NPCs, man. They're all clocked in now. Ah, oh, my heart. I mean, that's that. Oh, are we going to see more of Mary Beth? I, I want to see more of Mary Beth. Hey, partner. Abby. Sorry, I'm thinking about a girl right now, buddy. Oh. Well, I need a break. Um. Hey, mister. Hello. Hello. Oh. I, I'm sorry, but, you know, that's got me sentimental. What's wrong with you? All kinds of things wrong with me, buddy. And most of them are none of your business. Hello, ma'am. Hello, sir. Ah, oh, Mary Beth. 
Got me all sentimental. Good work, partner. Mister? Ma'am, Mister, yeah, Mister, back at you. Mister? How you do? Oh, Hello again. Hi. I need a bath, if that's okay. Can you arrange? I got someone warming it up for <clears> you already. Just head down the corridor there. You know the game, it's like, um... <laughs> You know, you have memories from the past, experiences with the game. Just like, it's almost like remembering old friends in the old times, isn't it? Would you like someone to take over for you? Sure. Uh, sure. Good. Now, don't you worry about a thing. I'm not worried about anything. You are a beautiful woman. Yes, you are. Let me know if you'd like a bit of an extra scrub anywhere. Well, ma'am, I'm married. But, um... I just, I just do... Just, just do what you're doing. I'll be out of your hair in no time. I love my wife, you know. There you really. Go. Well... I swear, folks around here look at me like I'm a hayseed. Yes, that's how it is around here. Always been. How's it going with you? Uh, okay? Good, good. You know, I don't know what kind of man I really am. Not a very good one. Oh, gosh, you poor thing. So you, uh, enjoy this kind of work? Well, that's a question you shouldn't ask a lady, dear. If I stay any longer, I'll turn into soup. <laughs> it was nice meeting you. Yes. You are a lovely woman. Yes, you are. All right. I'm gonna put them down for the night. Take a break. Cause Best night sleeping Valentine, right here. Like I said. A room for tonight, please. Room's all yours. Head on up. Uh, Mary Beth got me all sentimental. I am so tired of this guy always in that room. And I want to go in there and just see what he's up to one of these days, but I can never get in there. Ah, man, Mary Beth, sleep till night. Smoke him if you got him. I need a break. Yeah, that was sweet. <clears throat> that was sweet, man. Miss? My, my, my. Hi there. Am I Hello, lucky I ran into handsome you? handsome man. Well. You okay there, miss? Mm -hmm. You need a washing after a long journey? I got I someone just, to help you. I just did that. Y'all. Try to stay out of trouble. Bye. Thanks, partner. Go. Oh. So how you been? Ah, oh, I'm not sure what I'm I am. Um, we our first camp was uh, looks like it's gone. It was over. It was over here, wasn't it? Down by the river. There was a burned out town with a gold bar in it. 
I was just wondering if, where was it? There it is, limpany. I was just wondering if that gold bar reappears. Hey there, hey, friend. You're quite the horse. He has indeed. mentioned this in the comment section is just something I want to do. Just to check. Sir! Hello. And then I'm gonna do something that y'all told me about in the comment section. Next. And then I'm gonna go to bed. It's heading toward midnight in real life. Mary Beth and all the old times. Chapter 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Mary Beth and all of that. I was thinking at one point that uh, her and Arthur might be a couple. I didn't realize how much Arthur loved Mary. Wouldn't hurt him to have another 500 bucks if it's available. I was thinking. If I could rename Buell, I would name him Bodacious. But I can't. <sighs> Got me all sentimental, man. Mary Beth got me all sentimental. And now, we're going to do something else that's going to get me all sentimental. Y'all know where I'm heading. Y'all know. Oh, 
let's keep the barman rifle just in case. We don't really expect to be doing any uh, hunt. Really don't. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm just, yeah, I'm all sentimental again. Now you know where I'm going. You know where I'm going. Choking me up a little bit. Just a little bit. You know, just a little bit. That's that's the bridge. That's the bridge. that bounty. I did not realize I had a bounty on me in uh, San Denis. I think that was from that Charles mess. That, well, I made a mess up. Wasn't a mess um, fighting the Charles again. That was great. But I, I, I shot people I shouldn't have shot on the way out. If you would give me a minute, please. Clear this ride up for you. Yeah, Lemoyne. what can I do for you? You're very kind. So now, let's make sure. Yeah, fix that. Go, bodacious. You're filthy, boy. I can't clean him in town. You amazing animal. Yes, sir. Buell is bodacious. Remember that house. You, Mister. Thank <laughs> you. 
out for each other, huh? Couldn't do it without you, boy. I'm just running memories through my head. Might be a little. straight up but you know the horse ain't gonna make it even Buell as bodacious as you are you ain't gonna make it up there Tell him to stay. I guess what we need to do is uh, get him back over there. All right. I went the wrong way. You ready, boy? Probably like right about here. I had him in the right spot the first time.
foot, mule. Don't need you following me up these rocks. sir. Did not mean to do that to you, man. I want to save that. Yeah, I'm going about this the wrong way. I know. Trying to get his get him healthy. Uh, I need something for the uh, uh -huh. I don't really have anything that'll do what I want. Um okay, don't fall. said fault. There it is. Oh my goodness. Thank you comment section. Thank you very much. Oh boy. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness.
Thank you all for watching. Appreciate, appreciate it. Y'all take care of yourselves. We'll see you on the next one. Train keeps on rolling.